Raiding the Tomb of Andrew. Do you remember Andrew? Not many people do. He's only mentioned 12 times in the entire New Testament, and four of those times are simply lists of the 12 apostles. However, he was the first apostle to be called by Jesus and the first to call Jesus the Messiah. He was born in Bethsaida on the Sea of Galilee, the brother of Simon Peter and the son of a man named Jonah. Like his brother and his father, he was a fisherman by trade. John 1, 41 to 42, he first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, we have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation, a stone. Andrew is an example to all of us of what a missionary should be. Can you imagine if Andrew was too afraid to tell his older brother about Jesus? Are there people you are afraid to tell about Jesus? After Christ's ascension, Andrew preached the gospel along the shores of the Black Sea throughout Greece and Turkey, and perhaps even as far away as Russia, India, and Africa. Not only an example in life, but also in death, Andrew was martyred in Patras, Greece, in the year 60 AD. Tradition has it that Andrew was bound to an X-shaped cross because he felt unworthy to die in the same way his Savior did. So what happened to his body? According to tradition, Andrew's remains were preserved at Patras by a monk named Regulus, who was warned in a dream to hide some of the bones. A century later, Roman Emperor Constantius II ordered the bones to be transferred to the Church of the Holy Apostles in Constantinople. Unfortunately, this church was demolished in 1461 after Constantinople fell to the Ottomans. So what happened to the bones of Andrew? This is where it gets complicated. One story is that they were taken to Western Europe by crusaders who sacked the city in 1204 AD. Some say they were brought to Scotland either by Saint Rule from Patras or by Saint Augustine in 597 AD as part of a missionary journey. At some point, most of the bones of Andrew were thought to have been returned to the Basilica of Saint Andrew in Patras, Greece, the place where Andrew was martyred. However, other churches also claim to have at least some of the bones of Andrew, including Amalfi Cathedral, Italy, Sarzana Cathedral in Sarzana, Italy, St. Andrew Apostle and St. Albert Orsa, Poland, St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church, Scotland. During the Protestant Reformation, John Knox incited a Scottish congregation to destroy all the Catholic relics they could get their hands on. That being said, the wide proliferation of Andrew relics is evidence of the powerful impact this one apostle has had on the world in the name of Christ. And it all started by bringing his brother to Christ. Mark 16, 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Hi, I'm David. If you like this video, help me get the message out. Share it with somebody and watch the next one.